also had the same fixation on race as you. If no one fixated on it, nothing would ever change. Look, either you're on board with helping this department, or you're not, in which case we have a problem. Sherry Rosen Mason is the head of admissions for a private prep school in New Hampshire. What's most important to her is increasing the diversity of the school. They don't read Moby Dick anymore. You did. We did. It's 2015. It's about time they realized not every book was written by a dead white man. What I love about this play, and what's been so interesting, is what he's doing is looking at race from the perspective of white privilege, white power, white guilt, and all of these characters are flawed. I'm angry, okay? I'm angry. I'm frustrated. I'm upset. I'm upset. Because of Yale, I presume? Correct, mother. You presume correctly. Your presumptions are correct. This rejection from Yale is the first time this kid has ever had to have anything challenged. Anything. And so all of a sudden the whole world crumbles down. His immediate response is to get mad and to blame and to immediately look for a scapegoat. I would really like to be the person who decides who is a person of color and who isn't, and who's white and who's not, and who is Asian and who's just like descended from the continent of Asia but isn't supposed to call themselves Asian. This is going to be a show that is very much going to be dictated by the audience, I think. The story will remain the same, but I think what we're saying in the show, and who's, who's saying the most in the show, I think will also change based off of what we're getting. There's a lot of really interesting conversations that I think will cause people to leave the theater having interesting conversations. And to me, that's the best thing in theater.